Shalom, this is Cosmon Black. Now, before I get into the topic, I would like to bring forth some basic understanding and terms that I will be using throughout this video. Now, a waspy states that our solar system, also known as the Great Serpent, orbits our Milky Way galaxy, which takes approximately 4,608,000 solar years and 4,754,440 lunar years. We can read that in the book of Jehovah, chapter 7, verse 2. Verse 2, And Jehovah caused the earth and the family of the sun to travel in an orbit, the circuit of which requires of them 4,700,000 years. Now, within this orbit, there is what we call sums or gardens. I will be using the term garden. A full orbit around the Milky Way galaxy consists of eight gardens, and a single garden consists of 576,000 years, and a single garden also consists of four ages, and a single age consists of 144,000 years. Now that we have a basic, basic understanding on how our solar system works, let's get into the topic. Now, a waspy makes it clear that every planetary body goes through these four ages. The time of creation, the time of inhabitation, the time of barrenness, and the time of dissolution, are also known as death. And we can get an understanding of this in the book of Jehovah, chapter 4, verses 14 through 18. Verse 14, open your eyes, O man. There is a time of childhood, a time of propagation, a time of old age, and a time of death to all men. It is likewise with all corporal worlds I have created. Verse 15, first as vapor, the vortex carries it forth, and as it condenses, its friction engendereth heat, and it is molten, becoming as a globe of fire in heaven. Then it takes its place as a newly born world, and I set it in the orbit prepared for it. Verse 16. In the next age, I bring it into Simu, for it is ripe for the bringing forth of living creatures, and I bestow the vegetable and animal kingdoms. Verse 17. Next it enters Hotu, for it is past the age of begetting, even as the living who are advanced in years. Next it enters Adu, and nothing can generate upon it. Then cometh Uz, and it is spirited away into unseen realms. Thus I create and dissipate planets, suns, moons, and stars. Verse 18, my examples are before all men. My witnesses are without number. I raise the tree up out of the ground. I give it a time to bring forth fruit, followed by a time of barrenness. Then comes death, and finally, dissolution. I prepare the new field with rich soil, bringing forth, and the old field that is exhausted. And by my examples, man shall weigh the progress and destiny of a whole world. So here Jehovah is explaining the four ages of every planetary body in the cosmos. Now, like I stated earlier in this video, each age consists of 144,000 years. Simu, which is the time of creation, can be compared to the spring season. Hotu, which is the time of inhabitation, can be compared to the summer season. Adu, which is the time of barrenness, can be compared to the fall season. And Uz, which is the time of dissolution or death, can be compared to the winter season. Now, Let's go back to verse 18 
in the book of Jehovah, chapter 4, verse 18. My examples are before all men. My witnesses are without number. I raise the tree up out of the ground. I give it a time to bring forth fruit, followed by a time of barrenness. Then comes death, and finally, dissolution. I prepare the new field with rich soil, bringing forth, and the old field that is exhausted. And by my examples, man shall weigh the progress and destiny of a whole world. So here Jehovah gives us a witness that we can observe while alive on the earth that can be used to understand the four ages by observing the cycles of the fruit trees. Now, since there are four ages to every planetary body, it is obvious that we are currently in the second age, which is the age of inhabitation. Now, like I stated previously, the Awaspi states that each age consists of 144,000 years, which can be further halved into 72,000 years. Now, the Awaspi explains that we have already came through the first 72,000 years of the Age of Inhabitation and are currently in the second half of the Age of Inhabitation. And we, are, we as humans are destined for extinction some 66,000 years from now. And the Awaspi makes clear of this in the Book of Cosmogony and Prophecy, chapter 5, verse 17 and 19. Verse 17, place the Simuan age at 99 degrees, the time of quickening animal life. Verse 19, define the Simuan age of man, place his temperature at 98 for good health, and 102 at inflammation or death. For below normal will, therefore be the end of the period of man's inhabitation of the earth. After the vortexian radiation reaches this period, man will cease to propagate and so become extinct as to the earth. So you see, we have a time of creation, a time of inhabitation, and ultimately a time of extinction. We are like crops in one of Jehovah's gardens, managed by his gods and lords, as stated in the book of Lyca, son of Jehovah, chapter 9, Verse four, verse four, for all people in heaven and earth are my own. They are like trees in my orchard, and I prune them not for the life of the branches, but for the benefit of the whole orchard and for the harvest that comes after. And also in the Lord's fifth book, chapter three, verse one, the Lord said, as a farmer plants wheat in one field, rice in, in another, and flax in a third, so do I, the Lord, inhabit the earth with the seed of man. Now since we live in Hutu, the inhabitable age, the creating time of Simu is long past, so it is no longer to observe the creation firsthand. We witness only extinction, but fortunately after Adu, which is the time of barrenness, and after us, which is the time of dissolution, Simu will return and a completely new garden will be created on the earth by Jehovah. Now remember, every planetary body in the cosmos goes through these cycles and by getting a basic understanding of how these cycles work, we can therefore determine the age of any planetary body that we can observe in our universe. Once the earth enters Adu, the time of barrenness, mortals will have become extinct to the planet and nothing will be able to generate on the planet. Then us, the time of dissolution will take place. And once this period is over, Jehovah will place a newly born world in the orbit and the cycle will repeat once again. Remember, we are in the seventh garden and we have one more garden to go till the solar system makes a complete circuit around the Milky Way galaxy which means we have been created and extinct six times already. The Waspi teaches that everything in the cosmos goes through continuous cycles. And as we tend a garden differently for each season of the year, so are there changes in the management of mortals for each era. And just as stars have a life cycle from birth to death, 
So do humans have a life cycle from birth to death. Death and decay is a natural process of the physical universe. Physical death and decay is not the result of sin. It is a natural part of the physical universe. So with that, I'd like to say thank you for taking the time to watch this video. And I hope that now you have a basic, basic understanding on the four ages that every planetary body in the cosmos goes through.